Alright, finally got that back pushed. You see, at the end of the last recording session was Friday's episode. So, that means that I turned off the game in between recording sessions. And I had to go all the way back through and push that block again. Not that that's relevant to your life. I just thought you'd like to know I screwed up. So, hello internet, this is Yum Yum, and today, oh, this is the last episode, I keep forgetting to talk about the last episode, in the last episode, we went into the Dongo's Cavern, got to here, which is supposed to be the boss room, it had a skull on the map, but I don't see no boss, not one on the ceiling, that's the boss room, I don't know, I don't even know what to think, well, I mean, here we have a treasure, there's indeed a treasure right there, some bombs, but that's not, and here we have a discolored spot on the floor. Wait! So how about we blow that up and, whoa, what's that down there? Whoa. Let's go ahead and try it out! Ugh. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything. Oh. Oh god, what is that? It's. Oh. It's. 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 King Dodongo, the dinosaur. Sounds threatening. Who looks can be deceiving. King Dodongo is the easiest boss in the game. Unless you're brain dead, you'll beat him without taking damage. Throwing a bomb into his mouth while he's inhaling to fire you will hit him. Theorists say that this boss is also Stylord from Twilight Princess. Let me make it abundantly clear to you, with no room for misconception, how bad this guy is. I've had a tougher time with Keith in this dungeon. I've had more trouble killing a common infected with a shotgun. This guy is easier than ticking off a ship too. Ugh, King Dodongo. Let's do this. It's so cute! Can I keep it? Oh, are you, oh, he wants a treat. There you go. There's a nice treat, little doggy. Oh, now he wants a... No, bad doggy. Don't you sleep. Ah. Yeah, so basically, this is King Dodongo, the worst boss in any Zelda game ever. Basically, the only trouble you could ever have with this boss is figuring out his weakness. Which is just throwing a bomb into his mouth. Pretty blatantly easy, in my opinion. And he can't even hurt you when he's doing his little rolly thing. You'd think he could, but he can't. Like, it's it's horrible. Like, you just block everything he does. And and he finishes inhaling, he'll, he'll shoot fire at you. But that's about it, really. Now, there is a glitch where you can make him turn blue. I've heard. But I've never really been able to pull it off. So, I'm just not even going to show it. If you're on the internet, you, you can look it up. Well, I got to do all the work. Maybe if you could, maybe you do that. No, I don't do anything. Um, there he goes. Four sword slashes, he's down. Well, at least I hope he dies in an epic way. I mean, was that supposed to be challenging? They designed that to be challenging? Oh. Oh, dear lord. Ah! That's going to be the most painful, agonizing death ever. Ah, it's a cross between drowning to death and burning to death. Ah. Oh, he's still, oh, the longest death. And now I can walk on lava. Yay. <sighs> now, I'm going to get that heart. Yeah, we got another heart container. Our maximum life energy up is now to six. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, he's frozen carbonite forever. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I don't, I can't read my note. It says grapes, some death. Oh, gruesome death. Yeah. Gruesome death, indeed. Well, 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 I got, I got, I got a gift to leave for him. Oh, you can see the inside of his mouth. Gross. There we go. There we go. All right. Finally out of that, a curse of the Dongo's Cavern. Now, what to do now? I guess we should go see Darunia. And holy Kit Get Balls! 
Oh, you that's very convenient. It's me, Darunia! Ah, oh, my shoulders! Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure! It will make an incredible story. I can't believe that the Dodongo suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock block in the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open that cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. My shoulder! Kid, I like you. Get a doctor! How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Sure! No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Uh. Oh, I feel I feel better. <laughs> Can you imagine someone doing that in real life? Like in the parking lot, both of them holding the hands of like ah. You obtained the Gorons Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Alright, sounds good. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? Of course. You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. On top? But climbing's hard! Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother. Well, I don't see anyone else. Oh, God! Oh, God. You did great! I sure did. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Ah, no, 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 I don't like embraces. Oh, God. There's another one. I'm gonna die. Ah. Uh, are they gone? Are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. So, now that we have bombs, we can do some things up here in the mountain. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Come here. <laughs> Whoa, you need to take a chill bomb. Get it? Instead of chill pill, it's a chill bomb? Eat bomb! Eat a dog! Come here. There we go. <laughs> I love bombs, by the way. They're probably one of my favorite items in Zelda. Along with the Jiku Nut. I love the Deku Nut. I, I know a lot of people don't like the Deku Nut, but I like it. It's a very underrated item. People don't use it enough. So in here, they find, oh, there's Skotula in the daytime. Wow. And, well, how are we supposed to get up to that? Well, apparently you can climb this. Who would have thought? Yeah, I just got to this broken suit. Cool. And how many is that? I think that makes 15. Oh, I'm good at numbers. I'm so good at numbers that I amaze myself sometimes. I have a bird on my back. The bird and the shield, there's a bird in the shield. There's a heart up there and I want it, but I can't get it yet because I'm not going to cheat. I'm not a cheater. You know, except for Rogue Squadron, which I got a copy of right here on this chair. Rogue Squadron and Rebel Strike. I have all three. I've been a huge Rogue Squadron fan. It, it's great. The only one I can't beat is the freaking first one. I always get stuck in that, what, what is that mission? Oh yeah, remember, remember how this guy blows up? Blows up at the end of this little trail? There's a truck outside and it's pissing me off. Yeah, see how he blows up? Well, we're gonna want to remember that. Okay, there's a giant truck outside and it's really pissing me off. Hey! Go somewhere else! Go somewhere else! Go somewhere else! No, he's not going somewhere else. We're building a house. We're building an add-on to our house. For my grandpa to live. Because remember... Uh, I, well, there's probably no one who watches these that remembers my old videos. Oh, remember this big Goron poop here? Yeah, but the whole reason I had to stop the other Let's Plays is because I couldn't record it on my computer. Ow! I couldn't record it on my computer anymore. Because... Because my grandpa moved in with us. And I didn't want him disturbing my sessions. Okay. So you have to you have to bomb this guy in this cave. Be sure it's in this cave. 
just won't get the prize otherwise. I don't know why. I don't know if that's a glitch in the system. Ah, I'm in this belly. All right, I'll give you this and praise your courage. Give me what? A big pop bag? Yeah! <laughs> Whatever. I just went inside of his belly button. Belly button. So, the next thing we want to do is we see this wall here. We could have done this before with these bomb flowers, but why? Now we've got a pouch of bombs. Why would we ever use these again? Of course, now we're using them. So, screw you, it's my show. Do your own show. Oh, I thought there was another one. That was going to be so cool. That was going to be so cool. I was going to blow one up and then throw another one just at the right time. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, dang. I'm really bad, Mom. Uh, what? It's on the other side of this wall, I wonder. Oh, it's a biggin. He's such a biggin. Why are these big guns? I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. You can wait five or six years. You should be ready. Okay. Okay, I can wait. I'll wait right here. I can't wait that long. Oh, fire! Toasty. It has no source of fuel whatsoever. There you go. Okay, now we're moving wood. We're moving wood outside. We're moving the wood. Flip over the wood, or the stone gets it. Stone gets it. That's what these Sheikah stones will do. It'll tell you what time it is in the game. Show you game time. It's completely irrelevant. You'll, there's only one situation you'll ever even need to know what time it is in the game. And you won't actually need to know what time it is in the game. It's a little bit complex, but we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. We're just gonna go at an easy pace. Now. I'm sure you remember this creep pot here. This creepy pot stuff. <laughs> Anyways, let's throw a bomb into it. Now, we could have done this again before with bomb flowers, but I didn't want to because it's a long trek with bomb flowers. So, I just decided to do this. Now, it'll spin around like a roulette. And dang, you want to land on the. There's, a, there's an angry face. There's like, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, that's, that's a pretty cool face. And there's like, ah, that makes me so happy face. And, and you want it to land on the, ah, that makes me so happy face. Because if it does, you get a prize. Huh? Dude. Ah. Did that make it? It made it. I'm good with bombs. Yeah. Uh, uh, ah, it's bombs. Oh, I like bombs. No, take another one. Take another one. Take another one. Ah, dang. <laughs> this, this is getting sorry, and I should cut this. <laughs> but screw you. I guess this is the first time of my practice. Alright, alright, yeah, yeah, ah, we got the, ah, that makes me so happy face. And what do we get? We get red rupee, and a harpy. <laughs> you can never see my collectibles. Ah, it pushed me. <laughs> anyway, this is a piece of heart. Piece of heart and 25 rupees. Awesome. Quit moving wood. They're still moving wood. I don't like that. I like the moving wood more Well, there's another thing we need to do. Up here in Goron Sadi. Why did I say it like that? Sadi? Sounds like sodomy. Which, I don't really know what that is, so I shouldn't say it. I've got an idea of what it is, but I don't actually know. There's a couple different things. I know it means something bad and has to do with sex, but I don't know which one. Is it? Is it child? Is it... Homosexual? I don't know. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. Let's talk about bombs. Ooh, that was pretty. That was nice. That was pleasant. I'm glad we can share these moments. Now, if we come in here, after we destroy those arch nemesis, my rocks! <laughs> oh no. I will kill you all! All of you shall die! <laughs> oh, there's a big one. Oh well, it doesn't grab you. 
So I'll just pick you up with my bare hands. Okay, no, I won't. Apparently. And now they're vacuuming! Ah! Ah! <laughs> There's rock. I'm gonna pull all of you up. <laughs> I'm enjoying this too much. I just like blowing up rocks. I like bombs, okay? Like I said, they're one of my favorite items. Oh, these blue stupid poop rocks. And if we come over here, what do we have? We have a treasure chest. What could possibly be in this treasure chest? Money! Of course. And? Mm, screw you. What could possibly be in this treasure chest? Oh! The bomb. Oh, it's 50 more. Oh, I wasted that because I didn't have room in my wallet. Oh, well. Breaking that. There's scuttle up. Which is the real reason we came back here. I kind of forgot about the 100 rupees. <laughs> Yeah, there is one direct route through this maze. You don't have to use all your bombs like I did, but I like bombs. And I like killing rocks. And I, and I like both those things, so I'm gonna do both those things. Okay? Now, before we go do our next step that we need to do in this video of awesomeness, we need some more bombs, and I appear to have wasted all mine. And I also appear to have excessive amounts of money. So, we combine those two, and what do we get? We get buying more bombs. I can hold 30. Mm. Let's just get 20. That'll leave us with plenty of money. Plenty of money to spare to buy stuff with. And we also gotta pay back Mask Guy. Forgot about that. We're, just, we're in debt right now. That's okay. That's okay. Debt's okay. Debt's okay with everything. Huh. I just thought you would enjoy that. Why are they still vacuuming? Why are they still vacuuming? My voice hurts now. Yeah, here, Rogue Squadron. Rebel, I walked to the wall because I was throwing Rogue Squadron. Uh, uh, what was that weird target there on that thing? Oh well. Du -du 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 Out into the night air. Now, I think this is this always happens if we come up here. I think this always happens if you drop it in the middle here. What happens? Yeah, they all equal the same thing. Sometimes it's hearts, sometimes it's rubies. It just it depends. Now, I'm not completely sure on that matter if that's always true. But it's, I've done it a couple times now. It's always been the same results. Everything of something. Oh, look at those houses down there. They're so peaceful. Oh, it's dawning. Alright, so now I head up this way. Because he told us we had to climb the mountain. And, oh, God, I don't want to climb the mountain. Well, whatever. Mountain's on my head. Danger, keep out. You can't tell me what to do, sign. But I also can't kill you, sign. So you get to live this time. Only because you're immortal. And blowing up these rocks gives you money. And this one you have to time a little bit better. And we all know my history with that, but I got that one first try. But, why do I keep hearing a cow moo? Let's blow this rock here. Oh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. Let's go in it. There's that cow moo again. Where is this cow? Oh, there's that cow. It was down beneath the rock hole the whole time. You wily cow. Silly old cow. She's gonna take the heart from behind you. Anyways, something cool you can do with these cows. Oh, I'm gonna drink this milk. Hey, cow. I'm gonna drink this. Ah! Nutritious! Now, if you come up to this cow, to its utters, its utterly utters, and play Epona song. Epona song. Ooh, what a nice song. It reminds me of pasture. That song makes me feel so good. I can produce a lot of milk. That's all my refreshing and nutritious milk. And it gives you a bottle of milk. Very violently. And that happens with all cows. As long as you have an empty bottle, it'll give you milk. Now, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, that was one delicious cow. 
if I do say so myself, just eating it raw and whatnot. Still, one delicious cow. Alright, here's where the danger starts of Death Mountain. You got a turtle, a block of rock, turtle, roll, turtle, I roll turtle. So basically, these rocks are gonna fall on you. If you stand still, an endless stream of rocks will fall on you. So, see, turtle and roll. Turtle and roll. Turtle and roll. So, eventually, about here, they'll stop falling on you, and you can feel free to kill these wall tulas. And then, you kill that wall tula. I've said you kill that wall tula. He flops around a bit. You kill that wall tula. He flops around a bit. And then you can start climbing this wall. Bet you didn't know you could climb this wall. Who could guess? It's not textured. I will. Yep. From this angle, we can get this wall, Tula. And he blocks around. And then we climb this wall, Tula. And we can start climbing it. And we can get to the top of the mountain. Hooray for that. Alright. But we've done some pretty progressive stuff in this episode. We beat a boss. Oh god, no. No. No, 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 I'm done. No. No, I'll see you guys next time, because I don't want to deal with that cow. Cow? The owl right now. Ow. Ow. Send this episode off. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Send this episode off. We're going to fly to the moon. I salute thee, brave Sheikah Stone. Avast! Bye!